Good morning. This is Friday, May 17th, and today's devotion is His Ascension and Our Union. This is Luke 24. While he was blessing them, he left them and was taken up into heaven. We cannot relate to the events in our Lord's life after the transfiguration. Until that moment, Jesus led a life we can recognize, the normal, if perfect, life of man. From the transfiguration onward, Gethsemane, the cross, the resurrection, the ascension, everything in our Lord's life is unfamiliar to us. The cross is the doorway through which every member of humanity can, if they choose, enter into the life of God. Through the resurrection, our Lord has the right to give eternal life to all, to whosoever will. But by the ascension, our Lord enters into heaven and keeps the door open for humanity. After six days, Jesus took with him Peter, James, and John and led them up on a high mountain by themselves. There he was transfigured before them. That's Matthew 17. After the transfiguration, Jesus remained on earth. If he had gone to heaven immediately from there, he would have gone alone as a glorious figure, but not as a savior. <clears throat> Instead, he turned his back on glory and came down from the mountain to identify himself with fallen humanity. That's us. He left them and was taken up into heaven. This is the ascension. That's Luke 24. The ascension completed the transfiguration. Isn't it interesting? The ascension completed the transfiguration. Our Lord returned to his original place of glory in heaven, but he didn't return simply as the Son of God. He returned also as the Son of Man. Because he did, all of humanity now has free access to the throne of God. As Son of Man, Jesus Christ deliberately limited his divine omnipotence, omniscience, and omnipresence. Now, in his glory, they are his in absolute power. Sitting at the throne of God, Jesus Christ, as the Son of Man, has all power. He is the King of kings and the Lord of lords from the day of his ascension, as his ascension until now. And the challenge I have for us today is, do we see the cross as the doorway through which all of humanity can pass? And he's speaking of salvation. And the second part of that question I have for us today and the challenge is, who is it we know needs to pass through that doorway? Perhaps there's someone that God has placed upon our hearts that we know we're supposed to speak to about salvation. Who would that person be? Let's pray. Father, we thank you for the call of God in our life that uh, brought us to that doorway, the cross through which we did choose to pass through into the life of God. So today, Father, we pray and ask if there's anybody that you've been prompting us to speak to about salvation, that we take that step in faith, knowing that you'll be there. And we pray these things in Christ's name. Amen. God bless. I'll see you tomorrow.